so we are making progress. I know it doesn't look like it, but I am. Um, today I hope to see a lot of that progress. Right now there's cutting being done and that kind of stuff. Um, now, what we have decided is that this panel, this pin right here, is going to be what we call our stud pin. Durf is a stud. He's not cut, and I want to make sure he doesn't breed anything. The other thing that we haven't talked a whole lot about, and you'll get a better sense of it, this is going to be our working stalls, too. Um, it'll be easier to let the sheep in here to mob graze. And this is our horse stock. And then we will have, we'll just push them around and we'll have pens set up here for sheep. But down this is going to be an alleyway. Um, if you look, the tin will create that alleyway. And we're actually going to trim out the building so there's nothing for them to get cut on. These wires will be gone. Everything, you know, so you can walk down here. And then when they turn, they'll be right here. The head gate, I have it laying right down there i don't know if you can see that so it will be far less traumatic this is the head gate. i have stuff set there it, it'll actually match up to that t-post and that they will be easier we'll run them in here if we drench them doctor them, whatever they'll run in as a flock and we'll just do 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 let those out do do do, do let those out so far less stressful than um, what we do now, which is hand catching them. Then this will open up and it will go right here. And we have another little um, panel that's going to go there and it will lead them right back on out into their pasture. So yes, we have put a little bit of thought into this. We think that it'll work, you know, because we've already trained them. See how they go out and mob graze. Um, and just moving them between those two uh, pens is going to help us move them into this pen. And once in this pen, it's going to be far less stressful. They'll want this grass, new pasture, and then we can just herd them Girl right Whiskey's down Whiskey's out here with me. She's the first to try out the new horse pen. We've been using it to work derf. Um, the plan is I'm going to turn that corner right there into a round pen and just kind of have it so I can work horses there. Um, I may put it here. I don't know. I just thought the two fences might be better. I don't um, know. I've gotten all the tin up. I've been out here. Oh, I don't know. I had to clean up. That was part of it is with 40 mile an hour winds. If you paid attention in the first part of this video, um, you would see that like the, the stuff was blown all over. So I did make headway on that. I have the head gate there in place. It's not um, put up, put up. But now you can actually see how this is going to open. It's going to let them out, you know. And um, let me go back here and I'll show you the... Um, this is just temporary. These are not. The runs are going to be it. And eventually they'll all be these orange panels. Do I have three more hundred dollars? Each one of those costs about a hundred bucks. So I don't have these. But I am not worried about setting these up. Those pieces of wood will be gone the wire will be off of them, and then we'll just clean them up and let them sit while we gather a little more money. Um, Miss Whiskey doesn't travel very far. She's just like, yeah. Um, but I'll take you back here, and you can get an idea of how this little alley is going to work. Right there, it will have a, another gate down there. Um, for right now, the gate would probably be like right here. And it would go down there, and they'd turn corner, and we can work them easy. They're all gathered. We don't have to fuss. Okay, so um, I'm getting ready to turn Whiskey loose. She's done really well in this little pen here. But honestly, there's nothing for her to graze. So, Mommy's going to turn her. I've opened um, the gate that we plan on using as a horse exit into the arena from here. And I'm going to show her where it is. And let's see if we can get her going. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yep, there you go. And I'm hoping that she'll be able to walk out there and I'll be able to just turn her into the new... Um, out there in the pasture where the other horses are. She's not been out. Uh, she's a pretty good little horse. So let's see if I can get out and around her. Where are you going? She's going down to the other entrance and just gonna, I'll leave that one open and see. But I am gonna close All this right. one. So it is 
almost four. I'm losing daylight. I've gotten this much done. I still have that panel to do. I'm going to push and try and get it done. Um, poor Durf is going to spend another night in his other pan uh, because I still don't have, even if I get that done, I don't have the panels cut for these. I just have the center and the bottom and the top and the center. Okay, so ones. I'm in here working and Durf, I guess, is inspecting his new stall. Um, right now it's just wired up. He's just been coming up and pooped right there and out he goes. I had to shut this because he kept trying to walk up in here with me. I've got one section over there to do. I'm going to finish this section before I go. Quit trying to unwire that. Trying to lift it on wire. I'm going to finish this section and then tomorrow I'll just have that back section and that back section. I need RJ to help me straighten that out. It's old and we're recycling, reusing what somebody else didn't want. So I'm going to take the come along and I'm going to pull that leg straight so that I can get it done tomorrow. But it takes two of me. So um, pretty much I'm going to get this panel done and call it a night.